Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to do Melina's challenge for last week, and it was making side tuck tags. Say that ten times fast. Now, she used scrapbook paper and different scraps to make her tags. I'm going to cheat a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to use some envelopes to make mine, some old junk mail envelopes. I have done this before with you guys, but it's been a little while, so we'll... See if we can recap it. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to cut the little flap off, make it even there. Now that's going to make my tags uh, three and a quarter wide. That's plenty wide enough for me. If you want to do it different, you can glue this down and then just clip off that little top. As a matter of fact, let's do that on this one. Let's just glue this top down. We'll make them a couple of different ways just so you can see which one you think you might like the best. Just all depends on how wide you want your tags. Okay, we'll glue that down real well. And then I'm going to go ahead and just snip off a very, very edge of this. I'm going to make it at, looks like three and a half. There we go. And then we'll do this one the same way. We have some wider tags. This is a good way to mass make tags because, and to mass make pocket tags, because everybody, just about, I think we all do anyway, get junk mail. I don't get as much as I used to, but I still get junk mail. <laughs> right. So we have these three. Now, I don't necessarily want my tags that tall. So, let's see. How tall do we want them? I like a tall tag, but I don't necessarily like a bunch of tall tags. Um, I think I'm going to cut them at six and a half, looks like. And I'll save that little piece because that can be a small little pocket. Okay, so I've got all that cut off. Now, Lena glued two sheets of paper together and then left this open for her little tuck spot. So I've got my tuck spot already. All I need to do is glue this together, or you could stitch it together when you get your paper on. It doesn't matter. So there is my little tag pocket. And then on these, same thing, just glue that together. And these have windows on them, so you could use that window if you want to. I'm going to cover mine up, because this is supposed to be like a little secret hidden tuck spot. So, well, I think it is anyway. So I am going to close mine up. Okay. Go ahead and put a little glue right there, because I keep opening that. Now we'll just start with this one, and I am going to use some of this paper that I just purchased off of Etsy, and I'll I'll link this below where I purchased it. I, I think it's the journal boat, but I'm not sure. For the life of me, I cannot remember right this minute. That's just the way my brain works. Some days I can remember lots of things, and other days, nope. It's just not coming. But... I thought this was so pretty with that lace on the down the side of it. So I'm going to use some of this. And I'm just tearing off the white edges. I could have made this to go all the way, you know, print full page and all that. But when I put that on full page print, it was taking off some of my lace here. And I didn't want to do that. So, and this is just a flat metal ruler. You can do the same thing with your Tim Holtz ruler. You can do the same thing. Now I can't pick it up. Isn't that something? One of these days I'm going to have fingernails again when they start growing. Now I am going to cover that like that. I just want, I mainly want this on there. So I'm going to cover it 
front and back and then I'll go ahead and I probably should use my glue stick reason being is I just printed this on regular copy paper so I don't want everything showing through all of my glue so we will grab our glue stick how are you guys doing today I actually feel quite a bit better today <laughs> than I have felt. I'm on my last antibiotic. I can't wait to get rid of those things. I'm hoping that I don't have to take more. I don't think I will. I'm feeling pretty good. I still have a lot of ear issues, but that's nothing unusual for me. I've always had inner ear problems ever since I can remember. Okay. So we covered that like that. Now this is just a piece of our non-craft mat. All right. This is just a piece of our craft mat, non-stick craft mat. I, this is an old, old, old one that I had from many years ago. And I actually accidentally cut it. So I just cut me a piece off. And this is what I glue on. If glue gets on here, all you have to do is take a baby wipe or something and wipe it off. Or take it to your sink and just soap and water and wash it off. And it's ready to go again. But I use that rather than using book pages or anything like that because I like to save my book pages. Alright, let's see if we can cut this off without cutting our envelope open again. There we go. A little bit of trimming right here. So are y'all all good today? Is everybody good? I had... <laughs> I had one of you, and I, I don't know, I won't name a name, but one of you said that little cascading journal that I did, that I've started, I haven't finished, I will finish with you probably today. She said, she made the statement, that's just too complicated. Well, you know, I have learned over the years, complication is basically what you make out of it. Um, I can look at a project, and I can say, Oh my goodness, how in the world did they do all that? That is, I can't do that. That's ridiculous. But if you take it one step at a time, you have to start off with, look at a project as in layers. So the first layer is I got to cut my envelopes and I got to have some big envelopes or envelopes like this, but cut them. Your first one cuts at six inches long and then the next one all the way down, you just shrink it by half an inch all the way down. So that's what you have to do first. Just look at it in stages. Don't look at the full project in the beginning and say, oh, I can't do that. Well, guess what? You guys can do the same identical thing that I do. I don't do anything spectacular. I don't do anything that is complicated. And I try my best to make it step by step so that you will know exactly you know what I'm doing so you can do it anybody can do what I do I don't care I know I have have you guys say there's no way I can craft like that yes you can I've told my girls one time well I told them many times but the main thing I told them when they were growing up and I got this oh I can't do that you can do anything in this world if you want to bad enough and if you're willing to work for it. There is nothing that can't, you can't do. I told them, if you want to be president one day, you can. But you have to work for it. It's not going to be given to you. You just got to work for it. And don't ever look at something and say, oh, that's too hard. I can't do it. Because you can. You can. I promise you, you can. All right, there is my tag. And then let's hope I didn't glue my pocket together. Come on, where's my pocket? Well, okay. My pocket's not actually on this side on this one, which is fine. It doesn't have to be on a particular side. This one will just go in and there'll be a pocket over here. So that's fine. Let's go ahead and cut the top. Now, I've got a template somewhere that I normally use to cut the top. But if you don't have a template, all you have to do is cut one edge, flip it over, put it on the other side, and cut the other edge. That's it. Then you've got your little pieces cut there. Go ahead and trim that tiny little bit off. And there is my tag. 
with a little side tuck. Now, I am going to glue this little part. I noticed that Melina did this on hers. And I'm going to glue this little part right here together. And reason being is you only want to use this part as your pocket. Not, not go all the way up to here because we're going to punch a hole in there. So I'm just going to glue together just up to where I cut my little slant there. Okay. Now, if you want to round the bottom corners, you can do that. This is, the glue's still wet here, but let's see if we can do it. Yep. This little corner rounder is fantastic. I told Melina, I don't want to run out of those. <laughs> we can run out of other things, but let's don't run out of those. All right. And I'm going to put a little ink around it. And I'll do very little embellishing on this one because... I don't think I need to cover very much of that up, do you? I will put a label on it. So I'm going to grab my little matchbook storage here that I did. We did this on a video. Just look back a couple of videos and you'll find it. Let's see. That one has a little bit of the same colors in it. So let's try that one. But I do think, let's see, I want to cover up these words because it's not a full phrase. So I'm going to cover that up. I know some of you are going, don't cover it up. Well, I have to do what I feel like is, I like, you know. Everybody has to do their own thing, their own crafting. You can't craft like me. I can't craft like you. We just have to do our own things. But I want to cover that up because I've, I've only got a partial of the wording. And this is a very, very old, brittle book right here. So I'm thinking, thinking, I'm thinking that I will put that down like that maybe. Yeah, let's ink it. And I, I know I'm going to be cutting part of that edge off, and that's okay. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to add a little glue to it. And this is a very thick book page, but it's very brittle because there, I don't know how old it is. So we'll put that there. We'll press it down real well. And then I'm going to cut this off. Okay. Then we'll ink again right there. And see, we've got that partial phrase covered up. I didn't film yesterday because I actually, shh, don't tell anybody. I actually had a roofer come out and was looking at my roof. So he was up there banging and clanging around, so I didn't didn't get anything filmed because I was just trying to you know stay ready if he needed something and I didn't want to come in here and start trying to film and then him pop through the door and all the banging going on up there so and I'm not sure what they're going to do about it exactly um, they're supposed to give me some kind of estimate or something I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford to get it fixed but we'll see we shall see all right, I'm just adding a little doily piece to that. Just a little piece of doily. And then I'll add my phrase or my word on there. Whew. There we go. And we will be getting more of those doilies. I know I had a couple people say, You're out, you've been out of doilies for weeks now and I can't get any. I know um, Benji is trying his best to get some cut. He has been having to go out of town a lot lately, so it's been one of those up-in-the-air things that he's trying to resolve. But uh, I told him he may have to end up hiring some help. <laughs> so he will get it done just as soon as he can, I promise. Now, I thought about putting a tiny little butterfly up there just something to in this little spot maybe going toward the flowers 
So let's see if we have one that's going to be anywhere near the color that we want. Well, that one's actually going away from the flowers. Maybe he's got his belly full. Uh, I may have to look in another little container. These are just little pieces that come with the Tim Holtz Curator. That's some different little pieces there. Oh, I could put that little guy down. He, he's not really the color that I wanted, but... I'd rather have one that stands out a little bit more. That one stands out too much. Okay, I'm liking that one right there. This is, I have no clue, I think I just cut this out of a book or magazine or something because that's what the paper feels like. So, we'll put him right there and point him toward those flowers so he can go get his belly full. And then guess what we need to put on here? You know, you know, some bling. Our little butterfly can't be, can't have his back empty, can he? Now I have searched and searched for more of this bling because I know a lot of you guys wanted some. Haven't run up, up on any yet that I can, you know, buy and then sell to you guys at a good price. But as soon as I do, I will have more in the store. Grab our ribbon punch. And we're going to punch, it punches that kind of hole. And I'm going to use a little bit of this seam binding. This seam binding comes from my scrap cabin shop on Etsy. And I will link her below. Beautiful, beautiful seam binding. All right, there is one. And I will stitch around this probably. But there's one. Now, we're going to put something in the little pocket here. Now, if you don't want the edges of your envelope showing, you can put a little paper down in there. That doesn't bother me. That's not a, not a make or break kind of thing. So I think I'll take a piece of this coffee dyed paper. And I'm just going to tear it down. To about right there, maybe. Then let's try folding it. Let's hope that that's going to fit in there. If not, I'll have to trim it a little more. Oh yes, it fits in there perfect. Now, I will probably put a little tab on there so that you can easily pull that out so let me grab one of my tabs i'm thinking about that green one right there now we want to put it on our little notepad here where when you pull it out you're still going to be able to unfold it all right so we're going to make another i'm going to go ahead and show you this i had to finish it up off camera because i had my grandkids come in but i just put this little tab on there so that I could pull that out and then there's lots of journaling space in there and that just slides back down in there so I love that so this is a scrap of paper it's really the back sheet but I thought this paper right here was really pretty so I'm gonna put this on there make another I think after this one you'll know exactly how to make these and then Melina shows you the way to use just paper if you don't have envelopes like this so, but I just like using my envelopes when I can, and it uses them all up. Right. Well, it won't use them all up because I got a ton. One of you sent me a whole case of them, so <laughs> I've got plenty of envelopes. Uh-oh. Got that little crooked. I'm going to have to pull that up some. Maybe that'll work. Yep, that'll work. Okay. Yeah, Brooklyn and Presley came over to work, so I stopped out and got them going on their work and 
Now they're finished, so I decided I'd go back to my crafting here. Okay, which side did I leave open? This side. Okay. I'm going to glue that little piece right there down. And then I'm going to put a backing sheet on it. And I'm thinking that I'll just use this side of this. I think that'll work just fine. This is some of that paper that I printed off. And I will find where I got that and link it below for you. going to skip over the white part there. Okay. Then we'll trim this off. So this is a good way to use up scraps and to use up your junk envelopes. Okay, let's make sure that I didn't close up my pocket, and I didn't, and this looks like the top, best I can tell. So we're going to cut a little corner here, flip it over, and you could just make you a template if you want and do this. I have one, but I hadn't pulled it out yet there now you've got both sides the same and I'm gonna go ahead and glue right here just where that little slant is just glue that together you don't want that coming apart and looks like I might have opened that up a little bit right there so we'll glue that back okay and I'm gonna put a little ink around it I left my ink open a minute ago, so I know I'm going to have to re-ink re my ink pad. I left it open while I was talking. Okay. So there is one. Let's go ahead and cut our little pull in the top of this. And this is a ribbon punch. And it punches a little ribbon opening like that. And I'm thinking I'll put this in here. This is seam binding from my scrap cabin shop, and I will link her store below. Uh oh, where's the end? There it is. I think that pink will look okay. That's really a real dingy looking pink in there, but I think it'll work. Now we need to decorate it. So let's see what we've got to do some decorating with. I'm just going to lay some things out on here and see what it looks like first before I do anything else. So let's see. Oh, I like that pink doily on there. That's pretty. So I'm going to put almost all of the doily on there. Not, not all of it. Just almost. Well, I um, put glue on the wrong part of it, didn't I? And I could just, no, I can't because I've got my opening right there. I started to say I could just flip that around, but I've got my opening on that side. So we'll trim that off. And I'm going to leave it laying upright because I've got glue on it. We'll put that somewhere else. And I've thought about putting this black piece of trim down here, but I'm not, not too fond of that one. So let's see what else we have. Ouch, that was a needle that just stuck in my finger. Oh, I like that one down there. So I'm going to trim this little tiny piece off right here.
grab my Fabrifix. Now I'm going to put a little tiny short piece of bling right there. And now let's see what else we might want to put here. Oh, I kind of like that. And this is a flower that I cut out of Oh, I can't remember where I got these either. I'll have to link them below. <laughs> I purchased these from somebody, but I cannot for the life of me remember who. But I'll link them below. She had some large flowers, and that's what I was looking for. Because I had a lot of short flowers, but these were larger. And I like the larger ones that are taller, because on cards like this, you can put them on there. And I'm going to just put that right there. Make it look like that, that the bottom part is coming out of there so that'll work. A little bit of glue here. A little glue, a little glue. There we go. Well, got that glue down. Now we need labels and something. So let's see what we have here that's just laying on my desk. I've got that one that has the flower in there that looks like that. Okay, now let's see where we want it. We want it down here, something else up there, uh, or do we want it up here, like that? Hmm, you guys need to tell me. What do you think that would look like if I put that on the other side there? I think I'm gonna do it. It looked pretty good in the camera. <laughs> I guess if it looks good in the camera, I can do it, huh? All right, I'm gonna tuck it down as far as I can under that trim. And then we'll re-glue the trim down. All right, so we have that and I'm thinking I want that up here somewhere maybe across there let's see if we have anything else we can put down here okay I'm liking that but I, I need some little something under it it looks just kind of plain on there so I'm going to put a little piece of book page under there. A little piece of this real brittle book page. And I'm going to put it right at the edge. And then this, this is just out of the Tim Holtz Curator collection, this little piece. I'm going to put that right across there. Okay, let me look at it. Yeah, I like that. And then this tag, I'm going to put up here at the top. 
like that. And I have this little butterfly that I'm going to put on there. And I'm going to ink around him just a little to cover up that white. And we'll put him right there as if he's coming into those flowers. I'll flip this over and trim a little of that off right there. All right, there that one is. Oh, I love that one. Pretty, pretty. Now, I made a couple when I was off camera, but I want to show you those. Made them the same way. So there are all four of them. This one, I haven't made anything to go inside it, so let's grab a piece of paper. And I'm just going to use this paper right here. It's got a lot of journaling room. And then we'll have all of them finished, ready to go in journal. Oops, you gotta hold it, Edith. Then let's see how tall I need that. Tear it about right there, and we should be good. And I'm going to tear it lengthwise like this. And I'll tear this little piece off. Then we can fold it up. Now this is not um, inked on the back, so let's see, how do I want to fold this to keep it from all the white showing? Fold it that way, a little bit more. I'll fold it that way, and then back this way, and then... I'm just going to fold it around. I fold it better when I start to put it in our journal. But that's going to work for now. All right. There we go. There is Melina's um, MS Scrap Busters for last week. Hope you'll give these a try. I'm going to link her channel below. You guys go over and check her out. And we will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.